Hey, what's up? So at the end of Season 8 and beginning of Season 9, the Fortnite storyline has gradually been picking up in both pace and direction. Things are finally starting to get interesting. And while there have been a few clues dropped, in general the storyline has remained quite a mystery. But finally, it seems like the community has found a key which is going to lead us to the Season 9 storyline conclusion. And oddly enough, that key is the Toxic Trooper. The Toxic Trooper, oddly enough, is the key that is going to wrap up this entire theory into one nice clean package that I think is, is very conclusive. And if not conclusive, at least compelling. And what is that conclusion, you may ask, but none other than Nuclear Armageddon. Tactical nuke ready for launch. But with that being said, I am getting a little bit ahead of myself, so we're gonna back things up a little bit and go throughout this whole theory. Also, really quickly before we do get into it, as of recording this video, I am super close to 2.6 million subscribers, so if you could please help out the channel, that would be great. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So first, we're just gonna quickly run through the backstory just to make sure everybody is caught up and knows where we are currently at. At the end of season eight, the volcano erupted, spewing magma onto Tilted Towers, Retail Row, and peak. And at the same time, an unnamed organization somehow managed to make its way into the vault. And then after an undisclosed amount of time, the inhabitants of the island managed to somehow use the energy of the vault seemingly to power these new and insane technologies. Start Season 9. Now during Season 9, Polar Peak continued to melt and ultimately revealed a giant eye in the side of the mountain. With an eye that big, it obviously belonged to an even larger monster, which is now known as Caddis. Caddis escaped from the mountain and has now been wandering around wreaking havoc on the map. Which is very bad, as it's already destroyed some homes, as well as almost nearly destroyed the power source to Tilted Towers which is where we were currently at until some new evidence just surfaced. So there's your backstory. Now I've got four very compelling pieces of evidence which I think point us to the direction of nuclear war. But first we need to make some assumptions. But don't worry, none of these assumptions are any stretch whatsoever. The first is that we know there is an organization that reacts to major things happening on the map. When the meteor came down, there was an organized cleanup of the Hop Rocks, and someone also clearly organized the excavation and creation of the thing that leads us into the vault. So if there's a giant monster roaming around the map, it's pretty safe to assume that there is going to be some sort of action taken against it. So that's the only assumption that we need to make for this theory to really work, which again is not a stretch in the slightest. Anyways, we're now going to go into the four huge pieces of evidence that suggest this theory. So the first is the markedly large and noteworthy change to the pressure plant. Since the start of season 9, the pressure plant has looked like, well, how you've always seen the pressure plant. It was kind of ragtag and very unorganized and there were places going all over it and it was just very different. But all of a sudden, on Tuesday, that changed. There is now basically a giant floor covering the entirety of where the volcano used to be. And more so, this giant floor looks like it's an opening door. And there's even been glitches in creative which show this floor yet opened up and it shows just basically a giant pit. Now this has led some people to believing that perhaps they are going to try to lure the monster in but in my opinion, that doesn't make sense. There's currently very little detail shown to the inside of this giant chamber, which makes sense. Epic knows that the community is going to data mine things and hack into what's in there, so they wouldn't really show anything to begin with. So it could just be a giant pit, but that doesn't really make sense for a geothermal power plant. Because remember, and this is an extremely important point, the pressure plant is a geothermal power plant. They're using the energy of the volcano and transforming it into power. Which is odd, because it seems like they're getting their power from the vault, but I might be getting too far ahead of myself. So that alone on itself isn't a very big piece of evidence, but going with everything else, it is important. Changes out of nowheres are being made to the pressure plant. And furthermore, can't you just see those doors opening up and launching off some missiles or, or something like that? I don't know. I I can certainly see it. Anyways, moving on to our second point of evidence, this is the big one. Kind of, let me explain. While not maybe the most conclusive piece of evidence, this is what is going to tie this entire theory up. The week seven loading screen. 
Now, loading screens are always very important, as they very often hint at what is to come in the storyline. At the end of Season 6, we saw loading screens that had AIM, the robot of Sergeant Winter, in the background, scouting out the area, which was integral to the storyline of Season 7. And then in Season 7, we saw a loading screen of the prisoner escaping, which are just two easy and obvious examples. So it's no secret that Epic likes to hide clues in their loading screens. But the Week 7 loading screen is just odd. What we see are six toxic troopers defending the newly changed pressure plant. But in this photo, the doors to the top are clearly open and we have a picture looking up. And it looks very similar to the leaks of when those doors were open in that creative mode. So first let's talk about these toxic troopers. They are very clearly defending the pressure plant. But for what reason would you have people in radiation suits being your security team? Unless, perhaps, it was a high radiation area. It just simply doesn't make sense to show a radiation unit defending what is a geothermal power plant. And while this other fact is kind of odd and, and, and out there, I thought I would also include this. Now this could just be a coincidence, but the toxic trooper and hazard agent returned to the store on June 11th, which is the date 11-6. It was out of the shop for 161 days, and the last time we saw it was January 16th, which is 16-1, or 1-6-1. Now, that may just be a coincidence, but it's a little weird. But more importantly, it's just simply the timing of its return, right around the time of the geothermal power plant getting an upgrade, is very odd. But if you want to look at the even bigger oddity, let's talk about those two other skins. Now, Nightbeam and Flare are two new skins that were just thrown into the shop. And they look very interesting. They have a distinct glow to them, almost as though they are radioactive. It almost looks like they've been covered or exposed to some sort of radiation, perhaps radium? Which is like a real thing. In the early 1920s, there was actually a factory that had girls painting radium onto glow-in-the-dark watches. The women in the facility had been told that radium was safe and they put it on their face and even their teeth because it glowed and looked cool. Which to me seems very similar to Nightbeam and Flare. So when you put this all together, we've got this very weird glowing set of skins who look like they're up to no good being attacked by a set of toxic troopers at a geothermal power plant? Really? That just doesn't make sense. Unless, perhaps, there was some sort of nuclear equipment at this base. Which takes us to our third piece of evidence. And that is the true source of power to the island. So we all assumed, and I was on the forefront of this, that the residents of the island must have got their newfound technology as well as power from the vault. I mean, there's a giant wire going from the vault straight to Tilted Towers, but not Mega Mall. So isn't that weird on its own that there isn't a wire going to Mega Mall? And more so, the monster stepped on the wire and it is sparking and having some issues, yet Tilted remains fine. Now, I wouldn't expect Tilted to have a complete outage, but you would think an exposed electrical wire that big might cause some shortages. And to me, that alone just seems so intentional that they would make the monster just graze the wire and show no changes to the actual map. Again, maybe a stretch, but it seems odd. And furthermore, let's talk about all the other sources of power around the map. Season 9 saw the introduction of wind turbines, yet they never move. And they seem a little random, don't they? There's only a few of them around the entire map, as though someone wants to show the intent of using clean energy, but not really intensely doing so. And the same goes for the sun panels. There's really not a lot around the entire map. So perhaps the idea of geothermal energy and wind power and solar power is all just a sham. It very well could possibly be a cover-up. And seeing as that wire might not be doing as much as we really think, maybe there's another form of energy, perhaps nuclear. Again, it, it might be another stretch, but it doesn't seem wrong to believe that maybe the residents of the island simply got the technology from the vaults and are using 
nuclear to power it all? I wouldn't say that's conclusive, but it's certainly a possibility. And now before we do get into the last point, I wanted to just mention a few other pieces of evidence that I found that I didn't really think were conclusive, but definitely don't hurt this theory. Now the first, I really have no idea what to make of, but I think is important, and this relates to the Singularity skin. So the skin Singularity, her mask was first shown in the vault, and then at the beginning of Season 9, we see that she has her own statue in Neo Tilted. Well, if you go into replay mode, you can actually see her mask again at the pressure plant. Now, I'm not sure what to make of this, but to me, it seems relevant and uh, very intentional. The next thing is just looking at the battle pass. Usually Epic likes to throw in little hints like the meteor emote in the season three battle pass. And while there isn't anything crazy, a few items did stand out to me. The skin Sentinel and Keo are both based off of some weird energy form, obviously. But then you've also got weird things like the Neon Glow poster. Just seems random. Plasma Trail as one of the contrails. The Vox pickaxe has a very odd and also distinct glow to it. And Neo tubes, which are probably supposedly neon, but it might be a possibility that that's somehow related as well. But the other thing that I wanted to note is just the storyline. Now, for those of you that remember Internet Adam, um, this was a leaker that basically predicted everything from like season three up to the end of season five. He predicted that Moisty was going to come out, there'd be a meteor, there would be a rocket, like basically everything and everybody doubted him. And one of the other things that he said is at that point, Epic had already planned all the way up until the end of season nine. So while that doesn't suggest necessarily nuclear Armageddon, to me that does suggest that the end of season nine is going to be a big, big reveal or events or perhaps even a big bang. But with that all being said, I think there is one final piece of evidence that is really going to just wrap this up very nicely. And that is a glider. A random glider. DJ Yonder's glider known as Equalizer. Now this glider was not featured in the Battle Pass, but actually came in the holiday event, the 14 Days of Fortnite. And it has a piece of very interesting text in it. Now from my gameplay, you might not be able to tell what that says, but data miners went in and looked at it and contrasted it, and this is what they came up with. Warning, nuclear missile launched. That's um, weird, very weird. Why would that be on DJ Yonder's glider? And to wrap it all up, doesn't it seem kind of fitting that all this stuff is starting to happen around the next 14 days of Fortnite event. Could just be me, but uh, that is weird. Or was this a possible warning? Could this actually be Rocket Launch version two that destroys the map in an attempt to destroy the monster? It seems likely. What we know for sure is that there are big changes happening to the pressure plant. It could have started out as a true geothermal power plant, but again, there's obviously some sort of radioactive material there now. Perhaps when the monster broke loose, the organization that guides the map and does things decided we need to make a weapon to fight against this thing. I mean, it could be some giant crazy robot powered off of nuclear energy, but all roads kind of sort of lead to a, a cataclysmic ending. But all I know for sure is that the ending of season nine and the event coming up in the next couple weeks is going to be absolutely insane. But hey, that is just a theory. A pat theory. <laughs> but for real though, let me know what you guys thought of this. If you've got any other ideas that contribute to this theory, I would love to hear them. Perhaps someone should go into the game with a Toxic Trooper's Glider as it makes like the radioactive ticking noise and go towards the power plant. See if it does anything. If you guys did enjoy this and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Peace. With an eye that big, it clearly belonged to an even larger monster, which has now been named Chattis. Nope.